What is your current career and what lessons from the pool do you often apply here? Uh, well, I was active for a while in the hotel business. I applied the things that I learned, such as do the best you can every day. Uh, and this helped me a lot as I grew in the hotel world. After a while, I changed career as I'm now active in the motorcycle world in the marketing department. Um, but I still apply skill from swimming, for example, to deliver precise work and on time. I set goals and goals over and over and I have a goal for every day. Yeah, so the lessons and the many, there's many lessons that I've taken into what I currently do, um, which you'll know from the previous question is working as a high performance consultant, both in Australia and internationally. Um, so there's all the ones around goal setting, communication, uh, teamwork, and there's many others. But I think the most important one that I find is it gives me uh, a perspective from the athlete's point of view. Um, and that's something that not everybody that coaches whatever sport uh, does get. So that's a key one. So I am very blessed where, uh, because I have such a passion for the sport of swimming, I am now able to get back into swimming as a coach. I always knew that I had a passion for it, so I can easily translate what I've learned as a swimmer and, and teach as much as I can from that standpoint to the kids I get to work with. But more important for me, as I grow in life, as learning these amazing lessons as a human being, it's really about teaching people how to be better human beings. And that's really one of the best things about being a coach that I'm super happy um, that I get to be on deck again and share whatever knowledge comes my way and, and the passion that I have for this sport with uh, whatever kids I have the opportunity to work with. My current career is that I am an entrepreneur. I have a couple of different businesses in uh, different fields that I'm involved with. Uh, my one business that uh, takes most of my time is my Learn to Swim Academy called Swim Right Academy. Um, and uh, this is a business that I have started it over 16 years ago. And it's been very close to my heart and we've had tremendous growth with our Swim Academy. And um, of course, um, you know, running a business and providing a service. Um, it's all about, uh, to me at least, it's all about uh, treating people the right way, whether they're employees, whether they're obviously your clients, but being honest uh, with yourself in terms of um, the service you provide and also constantly seeking to be, get better. I think it's really important uh, to constantly seeking ways to be better and not be comfortable in, in, in your in a particular situation. Um, I, and that really that that comes from from sports for me personally because I was always a student of the sport. Although I appreciated all the successes I had during my career, I always wanted to be better. And the next day after competition, I was already evaluating how I can be better. And uh, that's kind of a similar approach I have taken in business, is uh, appreciating successes, uh, uh, appreciating milestones, but at the same time, uh, striving for, uh, for being better next time around.